So it's Friday the uh, 23rd of October and we're looking at some physics fun. I'm uh, videoing here, this is just a lamp and I've got some copper sulfate solution, just common gardens copper sulfate and this one you might guess of course is potassium permanganate. Okay, so let's move them aside. I've just got a clamp stand with my phone set up and here is a triangular spectroscope and what you'll see is as soon as I move this, you can now see, can't you, there's a hole where the light comes through. It's just basically a diffractionate grating at the far end. So if I turn it round, look, there's a scale and a diffraction grate and a slit for the light to go through. All it's doing is splitting the light. Now, if we get it uh, a little bit closer so we can see the image clearly, and then I'll try and focus down on the point that we want to look at, which is our scale, effectively. So let's try and get it all clear. Nice and clear, there we go. So we're looking at like, so the four, five, six, and seven denotes nanometers. So we're looking at 400, 500, 600, 700 nanometers. Now, clearly you can see a, a, a certain pattern that we've got there of the light. Now, once I put the copper sulfate in the way, we look round, we see, is there a change in that? Not a lot. It's not a massive amount of difference there, is there? So let's just slide that out the way. Oh, there's a little bit, isn't there? Something's disappeared off the end of the spectrum there. So there are certain frequencies that are being removed from the light by the liquid. Let's have a look at the uh, potassium permanganate. I'm just lowering it in now. You can see as I lower down the beaker, wow. Look at the difference, and actually, <clears throat> You can clearly see now, can't you, that about, if we go from 4 across, there's the blue line, so it's about 440, 445. And then we go up and we're looking at about 610, 620 nanometers. If I move the copper sulfate now across, sorry, the, the potassium permanganate, straight away we've got a full spectrum of light. So it's pretty clear that this potassium permanganate liquid is clearly filtering, isn't it, some of the uh, frequencies out. And that's due to the molecules themselves in the water. I'm just going to try and lift my phone up and I can show you overall. So that was my setup with the potassium permanganate and uh, my uh, spectroscope. So, Friday Physics Fun, looking at spectrum analysis, which is kind of a bit of chemistry, a bit of physics.